Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Leo. This is Pedio. Here for the Apex Pack Openings channel. Uh, today, we're coming at you with a very brand new series. It's Restock Fridays. We're pretty excited about this. Uh, we managed to get some stuff at our local Walmart today. Uh, we've got some unique items and then some some pretty some pretty common items you guys have probably seen before. Uh, so first up, we're going to be opening this championship collection. This is a third party uh, repackaging company. Uh, we picked it up because obviously you see the Joe Burrow there and the Justin Herbert. So maybe you know I never know. Sitting there. Yeah, I was just sitting there. No one picked it up. Uh, so hopefully we can get we can and get me. something cool out of it. Uh, I think it comes with yeah seven factory sealed packs and then seven assorted cards. With a chance at a chase item. Yeah, a chance at a chase item there. Um, Which can include what autographs, is it? autographs, fat fat packs, packs, graded, graded cards. cards, and more. Yep. Whatever more means. Because I think those are the big things. Whether it's an autograph, a yeah. fat pack, or graded cards. I don't know. Maybe like a patch? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll find out. So that's item one on the agenda. And then we've got a standard ETB Shining Fates uh, Elite Trainer box. So hopefully we can get a Charizard out of there. Uh, yeah, pretty excited. Cause pretty excited about this. Uh, Shining Fates. Can never Fates. go around with... Opening yeah. Shining yeah, Pokemon product has been pretty pretty dry here in an area, so we're pretty excited about this. Uh, they had a pretty big restock set today, so we managed to get our hands on a couple ETBs. So that's item number two. And then our last item, you guys have seen it on the channel already. It's another select mega box uh, for the 2020 uh, year. Um, this, something, this is a Walmart. Yeah, something that box. you guys will notice if you guys want to check out our previous select mega box. Um, box openings is that the previous ones were Target exclusive. Yep, and you can actually see one right here. This is what the Target Mega Box look like looks like, and then these are a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier compared to the Target ones. And the main difference is the red prism die cuts. The Target ones are purple prism die cuts. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of what kind of cards we can get out of this box. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's it's always a good time, not only opening Shining Fates, but also opening up any NFL product. Because, you know, those are, they sell out really quick. And we were fortunate enough to pick up um, these today at our local Walmart. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first uh, championship collection. So, hopefully we can get something good. Um, like it says on there, there's some chances at auto card so maybe maybe an auto card out of these yeah. and we've seen packaging like this from that company um you probably have seen the mystery boxes the pokemon ones that have a chance at a chase yeah. uh, vintage pack yeah um, i've seen some uh Yu -Gi -Oh ones as well with vintage packs uh, so this is not the first time they come out with a product like this um what do we got inside so it looks like we have a plastic tin of the assorted cards and then seven packs let me just pull these out here it's like a little plastic clear tin that has some um, toss that over there. So let's toss these around. So I think the tin is going to be the seven assorted cards that it comes with. So there's, I think that's seven cards there. So these are the assorted cards. And then it looks like we have a 2020 football premiere draft for, uh, like okay, so this tin. is a high series. Yeah. And then this is a low series for the 2020 football premiere draft. And then we've got a hit premiere edition 2019 premiere draft football. So there's some of the guys on there. AJ Brown? So it looks My like AJ Brown. Is the All Star? <laughs> Dwayne Haskins, Nick Bosa, Drew Locke. So oh, we can probably get a good rookie out of there. That's not bad. And this one is feels like a one carter collector edition. So this is a collector's edition football 2018 premiere draft. So it has four cards in this one, low uh -huh. series. And that looks like we have three of these 2020 leaf draft. Yeah, leaf draft football. So five cards per pack. Yeah. So I oh. think we can we can start. Wait, let's just go in chronological. Uh, so we can start with 2018, or should we save this for last? It's a collector. I would save it for last. All right, so we'll save so this maybe for last. A, a hollow in there. Yeah, and then we'll so we'll start with this one, the 2019 premiere. Yeah. Jump into these two, the premiere draft hit, high high series and low series, and then we'll finish off. With these three, and then save the collector's pack yeah. for last. Regardless, I mean, if we don't hit anything, I mean, this product was only, what, $15? Yeah, I think it was like 15 yeah, bucks. Yeah, so. I mean. Well, I guess we can just uh, start off with the sorted cards. Um, so let me organize these here off camera, or just on the side here. So let's let's just see what's in our assorted uh, tin here. 
So when I was when I was uh, is that a husky? When I was uh, shuffling it around, I thought it was a graded card because I heard the plastic uh, shuffling around in there. But I guess we'll see. Calvin Pryor. So we got Calvin Pryor safety. Oh, typically in a select pack, the card is <laughs> yeah. flipped over. It's an, yeah, I was about to say. Oh. I think they just put them this way so you can't see the the front or the middle cards. Um, so that kind of makes sense. So we had Calvin Pryor. Um, I guess I'll just flip these yeah. over. So we got Devin Street, Scott Crichton, <laughs> Devontae Adams, uh, Tevin Reese. So these Stephen Morris and Coney Ely. They so now that you finish the pack, these remind me like what's that? Um, is it Don Rest the baseball? Because these you can't see the logo of the school. Yeah, you can't see. Yeah, that's right. They probably don't have the, um, the rights? rights to or the image rights teams. or whatever the technical name is. Because yeah. yeah, I mean that Devonte Adams. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I mean, isn't he a decent player on the Packers? I believe <laughs> he's pretty decent. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, not bad. That's an interesting card. There, that, that reminds me of like the Don Russ baseball product. I'll just set this aside because we know who he is. Uh, I'm not too sure about any of the other guys. Um, so let's see this 2019 Premier Draft football. I don't see any odds on the back here. It says a number, a random assortment. So I think these these could very well be repackaged. Not 100% sure. Um, let's see if we can get anything. Anything good here. Um, so we start off there with Emmanuel Hall, 2019 rookie. Yeah, same with that one. You can't tell the school logo on the head or yeah. the helmet. Um, or Wari. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Next level, Terry McLaurin. He plays for the Washington football team. Yeah? Yeah. That's I pretty, know him. That's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, rookie, Danny Dimes. Danny Dimes. Daniel Jones. Uh, Davis. Or no, what's... I can't really see. Uh, Davis Coppen Coppenaver. Oh, not bad. Yeah, Davis Coppenaver. And then <laughs> Bean Benchwell. <laughs> Nick Bosa. Bosa. That's not bad. Uh, Christian uh, Wilkins, I want to say. Yeah, Christian Wilkins. Clemson? Wilk Christian Wilkins. Clemson. Uh, Justice, Justice Hansen. And then Daniel Edwards is the last card of that pack. So, I mean, I'm not too familiar with this product. Um, I'm not sure if any of these cards are worth anything. Or, or... Nick Bosa is a good hit. Yeah, I'll, oh. I'll put that Nick Bosa here. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I'll, Danny, I'll put Dimes. Danny Dimes. We can put Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. Um, and then the rest of those guys. No. Yeah, Terry McLaurin did pretty good in fantasy. Like yeah, 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 um, he actually did. Um, I mean, given the circumstances at the QB position, I mean, he still stand out as a rookie. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, All right, so we got this next pack, the football premiere draft, the low series, and then we got the high series to follow that up. So I'm assuming that's the right order. I, um, I want to say maybe that's a lower end. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Wah, wah. <laughs> let's see what we got in this one. So we got uh, Tavian Feaster. RB. Running back. We got another, or we got a linebacker here. Kalik Hudson. K Kalik Hudson. Riley Neal, quarterback. Who he play for? C. C. D. Lamb. Who he play for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys. Uh, I just got that off of the NBA. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so C. D. Lamb. That's 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 pretty cool. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And then we got a next level James Morgan. So we got some guys that are actually making it to the NFL. Who we play for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's James Morgan. I'll put C.D. Lamb in there as well. And I'll put these three guys off to the side. So now we got our high series. Um, yeah, football premier draft. So yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing this product. Honestly, I don't think I've ever. This must be a new thing because. Yeah, they probably just um, recycled some older. Yeah. older uh, I think that's how they do it. They just buy bulk product. and package it up themselves. So I don't know if we have an insert there, but it's light blue at the back. It might just be a full. <laughs> it's a cardboard. Watch, it's a cardboard. <laughs> so we got AJ Terrell, cornerback. Uh, Chris Orr, linebacker. 
Uh, Clavon, Chasen. I think I've heard this name before. Honestly. Isn't Or the guy from The Blind Side? <laughs> Isn't that his last name? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that must be someone else. And De- uh, Desmond, Patman. And our last card is a trophy room. <laughs> Joe Burrow. <laughs> Five <Yay>! star. <laughs> so we get a Joe Burrow. Um, that's pretty cool. It looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> they, it they, looks they, like someone just... Printed so there's a this, there's really a description fun. there on the back. It's a Joe uh, Burrow. It's a Joe Burrow. <laughs> so we'll we'll look up some values afterwards. I, I doubt any of this stuff is worth too much. Um, but a Joe Burrow is a Joe Burrow, so I'm happy about that. So we've got these last three packs here of Leaf uh, Draft Football five cards a pack. So look for top picks from the 2020 draft. Uh, no odds, no discernible odds on the back there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do some investigating to see what, what kind of, what kind of product this is. It, uh, it looks like it's Leaf trading, trading cards as food packages. Yeah. Um, I've never honestly heard of them. Obviously the big ones are Panini, stuff like that. Right. Um, so we got a KJ Hamler. I believe he's in the, he's, he's in what, Broncos? I want to say it's the Broncos. Who Broncos. he play for? <laughs> I, I, um... I'll put that there. Uh, Raekwon Davis. <laughs> Henry Ruggs III, All-American. That's that's pretty legit. On the Raiders, obviously. Um, we get a Courtney <laughs> Davis. And our last card is a Van Jefferson. That's not too bad. Yeah. Van yeah, Jefferson this product there. reminds you of that Donruss because none of these have yeah, the, there's, uh, the school. Henry Ruggs. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's crazy how they position the players or what they print on the cards is so you can't really see can't that see. it's missing that. Yeah, and they're looking a certain way so you don't see the full helmet stuff yeah. like that. They're they're not stupid. They've got they've got it down to a, they've got the process the down to a T. So yeah. we got Jacob East in there. It's a Husky, right? Or he played for yep the UW. Mm-hmm. So we got Jacob Eason, Antonio Gandy Golden. We've pulled quite a bit of him in select. What? Washington football team, I want to say? Uh, yeah, I want to say. Washington football team. Um, we got J.K. Dobbins, All-American. Jalen Hurts. Man, this pack is loaded. Jalen Hurts and Brandon Ayuk to finish it off. Wow. Wow, this is this is pretty legit. Uh, Whether the cards are worth anything, but, who those, knows, are big, but na- those are big name <laughs> those rookies. Are, yeah, pretty big names. I'm pretty surprised by that, honestly. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean, for 15 bucks, I can't complain, even if we don't get anything. So the, mean, fact, the fact that we're actually getting some cool stuff, is, is uh, that makes me happy. And a we, flashback we Aaron Rodgers. Flashback Aaron Rodgers. Wow, that is, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> we get a LaVisca Chenault Jr. Um, this is a guy to look out for. I think he's going to have a good season this coming year. Um, so we get Albert O. I'm not going to try and even pronounce that last name. No oh, idea. Cool. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a that's a good effort, Pedia. Uh, touchdown, Kings. Colin Johnson. Seaton cereal. <laughs> and we had DeAndre Swift as the last card of that pack. Not bad, not bad. Overall, Again, yeah, fifteen dollars. Can't we had complain. A good time opening up. Can't complain for. Oh yeah, I was pleasantly surprised at what we got. Honestly, I wasn't expecting too much out of it. Um, so we get. So we get those. I'll just do. I'll, I'll leave that for then. We still got this last pack, the 2018. Premium I mean, I don't draft. even think you really need to do a recap. The big ones was Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. We got a Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Yeah. I mean, nothing spectacular. Let's see if I can even get this open. Um, there we go. So this is 2018 football premier draft. This is a collector's edition pack. So we get a Terry, Terry Swanson. Ter- Terry Swanson Jr. Bo Scarborough, Akram Wadley in focus. It's a nice card design, but I mean, this looks like someone printed it from their home, honestly. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to lie. And we finish it off with Cody O'Connell. So we probably should have started with this pack, but <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, uh, yeah like if, if you look at the back here, PDO, it's like cardboard. Yeah. I it's mean, like legit, like someone printed it in their home. I mean, yeah. It, it looks like a photocopy, honestly. <laughs> I'm yeah, not even. Let's, yeah, let's just move on. So to the let's next just product. let's just move that on. Yeah. Uh, last last thoughts is I mean it's it's a cool product. Fifteen dollars for fifteen bucks. I mean I, I can't mean, complain. It's a, it's a cool product, but I mean. Let's see. So yeah, Jalen hurts there. Yeah, I don't uh, think I would 
buy another one of these I'm unless sure you know it's just hanging out there and you can't find anything else yeah but other than that i mean it's it's a it's a cool concept yeah it's pretty pretty um i think something that really turns me off in these products is a lack of you can't t you can't see the school names you can't see yeah. the logo you yeah, can't see what who they play for yeah that's one of my biggest gripes about yeah product. Um, it just makes the card stand out that much more mm -hmm. and when you can't even see who they played for in college it's kind of uh, debbie downer but you know let's just move on to the next product right. um, i'm gonna hand it off to pdo if you want to start off this one um yeah Alrighty, so welcome to product number two. Um, we got Shining Fate DTV here. Um, let's just get right into it. Um, obviously, the card to pull is VMAX Charizard. Yep. Um, a lot of baby shinies in this. Yeah, I mean, we've we've opened quite a bit of uh, the Shining Fates uh, stuff. So we're... I mean, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we've pulled a Charizard in the past. So this is what we would be looking for. Yeah, so um, hopefully we can. Yeah, hit such a nice card. Yeah, um, here's that promo card. I'm sure you guys have seen that plenty. The other the dice and your yeah. little counters there. And a bunch of energy. Yeah, and then you get the some dividers. Dividers, and then. The code card for you guys if you guys play the online game. So, um, yeah. Yeah, let's just get right into it. So, what, 10 packs? Right. Yeah, 10 packs. Um, so, yeah, obviously uh, Charizard. Um, any any oh, baby shiny. Some baby shinies. Yeah. There's that code card for you guys. I mean, compared to other products, I feel like Shiny yeah. Fence has been pretty loaded. Um, at least early in the earlier in the year when it was the fresh yeah. fresh printing, I feel like they were pretty yeah. loaded. But. Let's hope so. Usually before we would get like three four hits. Yeah. So let's see how many we get in this one. Yeah. So we got Eevee, more Peko, Weasel, Nicket, Cacnea, Energy, Rotom, Rusted Shield, Float Cell, Zarud, Reverse Hollow, and Yon Mega. Not what we were looking for. But it was just pack one. Yeah, there's still plenty, plenty of chances. To yeah. We should at least get one V card at the minimum. Yeah. There's that code card for you guys. Uh, I did feel something. Yeah. No, I did not. Just kidding. Casa Floor, Fun. Roulette, Cuffin, Spinarak, Snom, Energy, Float Soul, Dark Tricks, Ball Guy. I did feel something. Oh, there you go. Amazing yeah. rare Kyogre. Not bad. And a Thievul Reverse Hollow. Alrighty, so yeah, like like I was telling you, this these amazing rares are pretty. I've pulled them quite a bit. Yeah, they, um, I feel like they've, that, they've been put that on the side. At least for me, I, I feel like I've pulled like seven of those Kyogres. Yeah, no, that that's a pretty frequent yeah. card. Yeah, Let's hope that's not the hit. Often. But I mean, yeah. it's not bad. There's a the code card for you guys. We got a Cuffin, Choodle, more Peko, Yanma, Eevee, Energy, Aldegas, Luxio, Gym Trainer, Galarian oh, Farfetch. There's our yeah. first baby shiny. Baby shiny. Not bad. And Frostmoth, Reverse Hollow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. These yeah. these are, so you yeah, want to hit these. Any baby shiny is going to yeah. be really, a really decent pull. Yeah, you want to hit those. Because, I mean, there's like a hundred of them that you want to yeah. in the set. So you want to get any of them. Uh, I mean, I feel like at a minimum, they're like 4 or $5 a card. They have so, to be, yeah. Code yeah. card for you guys. Yeah, so hopefully you e. continue the hot streak. A yeah, white border on those, yeah. yeah. So Eevee, Nicket, Horsey, Snom, Morpeko, Energy, Floatzel, Tropius, Ball Guy, Morpeko, and Zarud. We've seen better packs. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's Charizard? Is Charizard in this one? Hopefully. Hopefully we can get a Charizard out of a Charizard pack. Alright. Code card for you guys. I did not feel anything. 
So maybe not. So when, he, when he's saying he doesn't feel anything, you can feel you the can texture, feel that texture, the texture of um, the, like of the, the, the reverse as you're doing the card trick. Yeah. Did I already do the card trick? Yeah. I think so. Well, yeah. 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 If not, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Choodle, Eevee, Nicket, Horsey, Snob, Energy, Team Yelp, Towel, Eldegoss, Luxio, Manaphy Reverse, and Dreadnought. The most pulled so rare. Oh my God. <laughs> Between that one and Yon Mega, I guess these three. Hey, look at that. We we pulled three. Um, so I I, I open half. Um, Leo's gonna open the last half. Maybe he'll he'll have better luck than me. Yeah, hopefully we can get something pretty legit. Uh, maybe another another Charizard. Um, I mean, you pulled that Charizard what like four. A month ago, <laughs> no, it was more than that. yeah, it's been a while. It's been a little uh, while, but I mean, we've got two semi decent hits. I mean, it's pretty consistent with what we should be pulling. I'm gonna sleeve them up just because. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so up. on the right side, I put the foil yeah, or the so hollow, whatever the... it is, and then the rare on the left. Yeah, is how I organize it. Again, you can organize yeah. it however you want. I'll just but leave them there. I'll continue the stack. So hopefully, we can follow up with another baby shiny. I mean, we've only gotten one, right? Yeah, usually then, um, you typically rare. get two to three. So there's another code for you guys. Code card for you guys that play the TCGO game. I don't think I saw anything there. Oh, there. Well, stand corrected. <laughs> so there's going to be something right here. Uh, so we got... Uh, you got to go through all of them. You got to go through all of them. Grookey, uh, Energy, Team Yell Towel, Thwacky... Tropius. So we got uh, Morpeko. Reverse Morpeko. And so v. 45. I can't think of that off the top of my head. I think it's a ditto. So it's, a it's a Crobat. That's yeah. not bad. So uh, Crobat's not bad. VMAX. So that's our second. That might be our V card. Yeah, I mean, that might be the yeah. V card of the box. So It's not bad. That's what uh, you can pull worse. Yeah, you know they pull worse, you but I mean, just look at the look at the foiling on that yeah. man. It's just so. What nice. really brings down the value is I don't know if you've seen the special deluxe boxes that come with the shiny. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think they're special edition. I can't think of the technical name of that box, but it comes with more packs than a typical like the pin. Yeah, the uh, yeah. I think so that's why that box. Here, you I'll, can see up. that one up. Um, uh, that's why this card is not worth because you can pull it. Yeah, it's, yeah. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of surprised we haven't came across those. Because those yeah, are pretty, yeah. or that's a pretty sought after uh, product. Um, I remember when Shiny Fates first came out, those things were like extinct. Yeah. That's the tough part about the card, this card business is you really got to get lucky <laughs> yeah, that's, when that's, they stock them. And I fortunately true. got lucky with one, and I've only come across one since then. Um, it's just. So I, I felt something on that one. I think we got. Uh... I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Be uh, fair Yama, to the other Pokemon. Snom, Cuffin, Grookey, Grookey, another energy. energy. Oh, oh, right after this one? No, no. So no, we got... One. Uh, one right after this one. Nope. Oh, it's another no. Kyogre. Another well, there's, Kyogre. There's two in, the, two in the box. And our last card is a Yanmega. So. Weren't we just saying that those are the two? <laughs> Literally, two in one. Two in one box. So, I mean, these things are... I think over time, right now they're kind of they kind of fell in price, but I think over time because that foiling is pretty insane. Yeah, it's pretty legit. I mean, um, I think so over beautiful. time it might creep up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think right now the so price is kind of tanking because. Well, I, mean, I feel like they're just, reprinting. They're putting out so much product. Yeah. That's that's why a lot of the stuff. And is I mean, going and down even value. before we would pull quite a bit of these. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean. So yeah, I definitely feel like with all the reprints, they've definitely adjusted the the pull rates on. At least for Shining Fates. I, I mean, think Pokemon just pit and print. They're printing money. <laughs> yeah, literally. For you and I to pay. Is. Yep. So there's another card, code card. One, two. Yeah, we got two. So there we got, three packs, including that one. So we still yeah. got a chance at that Charizard. Um, Cacnea, Choodle, Spinarak, Cuffin, Energy, Ball Guy, uh, Tropius, Cramorant. So we get a Reverse, Yanmega. And a Volcanion. <laughs> man, I've seen so many of those wah, wah, Volcanions, wah, 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 man. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get we can top off this box with another baby shiny. 
Um, so we got two packs remaining, including this one. Yeah, the um, last one's a Charizard artwork. So, so the so last one is a Charizard artwork. Hopefully that means there's a Charizard. Um, man, that, that Charizard is so beautiful. Uh, hopefully we can get another one of them. So there's another code card for you guys. We'll put it there for good luck. Put it there for good luck. Hopefully that means there's the Charizard in here in this ETB. So we got a gospel floor there. Oh, looks like we've got a, a hit in the back there. I see some black. If it's a Charizard, when I pulled that one, it was the second to last card. Okay. Um, More Peko, I think it was in the him. baby shiny slot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember pulling mine in that slot as well. So hopefully that means. That would be right after here. Oh, baby so we shiny. got a baby shiny and Snow? see what the V card is. Is it a double pack? Double hit? Yep. So wow. we got a baby shiny and a crowbat. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so we got the crowbat V and the V. <laughs> the V and the yeah. V Max. I'll slide those over for you to sleep, PDO. Yeah. I mean, um, look at that. I mean, regardless, we got four, four baby shiny hits because Kyogre technically is in that slot. Yeah, I guess you're right. And then two V cards. Yeah. So, I mean, so far, it's been a pretty successful box. Which is pretty um, consistent with what we've been, what we we're accustomed to. Yeah, so we got the last pack here. Hopefully, it can be last pack magic. We have a black Charizard there on the artwork. If we can top it off with a Charizard or even another baby shiny, I'd be happy. Um, uh, yeah, hi, yeah. So we yeah. got one, two, three, four, five, six hits this box. I feel like that's pretty average. That's that's pretty consistent. I feel like that's pretty yeah. consistent with other products. That's why I think Shiny Fates is one of the more um, sought after because you it's, there's more value into it. Yeah, versus for sure. like what battle styles that just came out that you get one. Yeah. So all right. So we got Fleur, Snom, Coughing, Cacnea, another Gossifleur, Energy, Rusted Sword, Gym Trainer. Looks like we've got a Eevee. Reverse. Reverse, and the last card is a. How do you say this? Zerude? Zerude. Zerude? Yeah. All right. So those are the last two there. I mean, overall, I feel like that was a pretty successful Yeah, I pretty mean, successful box. Well, I mean. two, two Kyogres, a Galarian Surfetch. Um, yeah. So I'll just recap yeah. it here. So we get a Baby Shiny Snom, a Crobat V. So we got two Kyogres here. I'll put that. Two Kyogres, amazing rares. Two amazing rares, two Kyogres. Um, one for you and one for me. <laughs> there we go. And then we get the the V Max version of the Crobat and the Galarian Surfetched. So that's that's pretty Not nice. Bad. I feel like yeah. that's that's pretty that's pretty decent for an ETB. Yeah, maybe Charizard uh, to help us out next time. Maybe next time Charizard, uh, better luck next time. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty excited for this next one because this is the first. Uh, so yeah, that NFL does it. Yeah. Uh, so that does it for this this Pokemon product. That was a pretty decent ETB. And this is the first time, the first time we're opening a Walmart version of the uh, Select Football Mega Boxes. So that's what it looks like here, guys. Uh, we've opened all of the Target ones that come with the purple uh, Prism die cuts, and we've got red ones in here. So let's see. Let me get the box cutter. So I mean, we're obviously we're looking for Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Tua, um, Hado. Any, oh, any autos. Patches. It's been a while since we've gotten a patch or an auto. I mean, we haven't gotten an auto. I was about to say. And it's been a while since we've gotten I mean, a we've patch. opened, um, like we were saying earlier, if you guys want to watch our other unboxings of the select mega boxes, we've... Yeah, we've opened we're, we're, I think we're due for... We're due for something pretty I mean, big. in our previous video, we got a case hit with yeah, a we, numbered card. Yeah, we did. But I think we're due for a patch. Yeah, we're definitely due for a patch. Um... It's been a long time coming. I feel like we can get something good here. I'm feeling pretty positive about these. So I'm going to open half. Kedio's going to open the other half. Uh, so it's... Oh, they're, they're even packaged weird because the, uh, the Target ones, they have a little cup. Right yeah, that, that is right. So these are just free balling in there in the in the box. That's no, not good for a PSA 10. No. Nope. Justin Herbert. Yeah, so there's nothing in there to... Let me slide these packs over. There's nothing in there to really protect them from sliding around too much. So that's already a minus from the Walmart packaging. So PDO is going to open. So PDO is going to open five right away. This one feels a little different than the rest. Just open that one last. So we're going to save this one last. I'm going to put that over here to the side. And then we've got the regular ones here. <laughs> um, so I'm going I'm to put aside five for myself. And then PDO can open the last five. I'll slide these over here for PDO. 
And so, I mean, the, so the exclusives are the red prism die cuts. I'm pretty excited about them. I haven't oh, seen die cuts. Yeah, I haven't seen any oh, of these. Wow. So it's one. Yeah. So we're gonna get ten die cuts here. I haven't seen any of these. I like at all, really, even even on yeah. like eBay or anything. So I'm, this is gonna be my first time actually seeing them in person. Is there a chance that these barely hit today? It could be. I'm, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to do some we've research. Seen, we've seen the target ones. We've. I mean, we've hit quite a bit. Yeah, we've hit quite a Maybe bit. Maybe this is a first. Maybe I'm not saying it is, but. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So we'll do some research. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Looks like we got a silver in the back here from what I can notice. Uh, so first card there, J.J. Watt. Oh, that's a good one. We get a Zeke red or is that prism considered die cut. red? Because that looks like orange. No, I think this is red. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a red. I'll flip it around because if it's orange, I want to say it'll be numbered. So the... The silver is a Jacob Eason rookie. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. Um, I'll sleeve up the. So the Zeke is not numbered. So I'm, yeah, these are the these are the red prism die cuts. Um, and then the silver Jacob Eason, and the last card of the pack is Mike Vrabel for the Patriots. Let's put the base there. I'll put the die cuts over here. So I'll slide these over for Peter to sleeve. And then we'll yeah, just any put them silver back. prism. Any silver, any yeah, silver yeah. ones that you can get, definitely save them out there. They tend to be a little more I mean, rare. This Jacob Easton ain't bad because he's a rookie QB. Yeah, it's a rookie QB, which is what you want, yeah. obviously, but it's not one of the big guys. Uh, I guess it looks more red now that I have it closer to me. Yeah. So we get a Drew Brees there. Die cut sticking out. Let's pull from the top. So it is James Conner. That's not too bad. Uh, I think I picked this guy up in my, my fantasy last year, so that's... Pretty decent. We'll sleeve him up regardless. Uh, we'll sleeve him up. So James Conner there. We got a Hot Stars, Tom Brady. Not bad. Arguably the greatest quarterback of all time. And we got a Josh Allen right behind him. So that's pretty QB, decent start. I'll put the inserts here in the middle. Fantasy. Yeah, this guy was a point machine, man. This guy was crazy last year. The modern Russell Wilson for fantasy. Yep. So we got Josh Allen there and then the Drew Brees. So not a bad start. James Conner and Zeke. Uh, we got a Hot Stars Tom Brady and a Silver Jacob Eason. So, so two packs in. So two packs in. Um, let me just rearrange it here real quick. Put those there. So we got our base pile, our insert pile, and then our silver pile and our die cut pile. Uh, so this is pack number three. Uh, pretty decent start. I think we've seen better, honestly. Um, but not a bad start. We got that. That's Silver Jacob Eason, so pretty happy with that. So we start off this one with Antonio Gibson for the Washington football team. And our die cut is indeed another Josh Allen. The concourse level there. And it looks like we got a Joe Namath right behind him. We'll sleeve up that Josh Allen. We got Unbreakable Joe Namath. And the last card of that one is Darrington Evans for the Titans. Nice rookie. Not bad, not bad. So not bad. We, I feel like... I feel like at the last mega boxes we've opened, we didn't get as many of these inserts. So, yeah, still looking for the big QB name, but we still got quite a bit to open. Yep. So, pack number four, we start off with Joe Montana. We oh. get a red prism die cut, Patrick Peterson. That's a nice color match there. Yeah. Unfortunately, that, I don't think he's with the Cardinals anymore. But yeah, that, regardless, those are those are nice, especially when they color match. A beautiful uniform. card. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make sure yeah, I think we got a, we got a purple uh, Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Jackson that yeah. looks pretty insane. So we got a bangle here. Please be Joe Joey B. <laughs> it's not going to be Joey. It's going to be T Higgins. Uh, select certified rookie there. We'll still sleeve them up. That's that's. I mean, these are really nice looking cards. Yeah. So I mean, Select has done a, a fantastic job with their product over the years. Uh, they've definitely continue to put out nice looking products so we finish off that pack with julio jones uh that was pack number four so we're moving into pack number five pack number five hopefully we can i mean if we if we if you really felt something on that last pack video hopefully we can finish it off with a bang um, it felt like a bigger pack yeah um i don't want to get my hopes up because then it might just have air in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, some yeah. of these packs are packaged like with a lot of air in them. So I think we've got another silver in this one. So that's pretty nice. So Ryan Tannehill to start the pack. Our die cut is going to be Cole Komet. Not bad, rookie. I mean, these red ones, I feel like I like the red ones a little more than the purple ones. Yeah. Um, 
They have a. Uh, it could just be biased because red is my favorite color, but no, they they look nice. I think they look the purple really ones nice. look nice as well. It's just yeah. kind of like I don't know. The red stands out a little more to me. So we get a Darrell Taylor silver. I think I've actually gotten a silver one of these guys before uh, for the Seahawks there. And the last card of the pack is a field level. I'll we'll sleeve that uh, Darrell Taylor up. So we get a field level Ray Lewis. That's not bad. I mean, the field level is the highest tier in this uh, set. So that's that's the highest rarity. It's the hardest card cards uh, to pull. So that's a nice nice card there, Ray Lewis. Uh, put that there. We got a silver stack here. So I'm going to switch it off for P05. That, that was already five packs in. Wow, that is. Those five packs flew by. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can. Yeah, well, those five packs flew by. Yeah, uh, so we got yeah. five left. We got five left. I think that back one is the one you thought was something in there. It it feels normal now. Okay. We just probably you're probably pretty excited. Yeah, my, my yeah, they, that. that's so, pretty. Uh, I mean, hopefully, I mean, we have a chance of autos in these. Yeah. I mean, we've opened quite a bit of mega. Yeah. Um, and we still haven't seen an auto, so it'd be really nice to see an auto. Uh, it's a chief. That. Clyde. I think it is. Tyreek Tyree Hill. Tyree. That's not bad. Not bad. I think that's, that's the bad. first time. Or it might be like the second or third yeah. time we've seen Tyreek, but that's a nice, nice die cut. Uh, Red die cut to get. We got a Joe Burrow. Ooh, there we go. There I'll we put go. that on the Turbo side. Charge. Turbo charge. Not bad, not bad. And then lastly, we got. That's our first rookie QB hit. Denzel the, Mims. I'll put box. that. Um, Joe Burrow for you to sleeve. Yep. Um, so Turbo yeah. Charge Joe is not it's bad. not bad. I like that Tyreek. Yeah, that's a really nice looking Tyreek. Yeah. So there's uh, Joe Burrow for you. Uh, not bad. So Joey B, turbocharged. Right not there. the biggest fan of those turbocharged Joe Burrow. I, stuff. yeah. But, I mean, a Joe Burrow is a Joe Burrow. I can't complain. Um, uh, so. Yeah, so next pack is CD Lamb. It's a Ram. Cam yeah. Akers. Not bad. Not bad. So we'll set this one over there. Um, it's a Silver. Ooh, is that a field level? That's a field yeah. level die cut behind him. Lamar Jackson. Lamar. Is wow. That, is that numbered? So, I got that. I think that's a numbered card. I'm not, is it? I think so. I'm not. All right. So, lastly level, is a Darrington Evans. Wow. This thing is a beauty. Let's find out. Oh, it is numbered. Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh. What? 19 out of 355. So, it's definitely a limited print run. Wow. Yeah, the, the regular field level would be white. It would have a white border. But yeah, that's insane. I did not know that. I'm not sure what what color that. It might be a bronze or or something. But that's that's pretty legit. I think that's a pretty big pull. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that one. I'll see that up for you, Peter. That is so another Lamar. Another, yeah. another die cut Lamar. So we've got a purple one. Yeah. Um, and now we right. have this bronze one numbered. So I'll, I'll I'll pull out that other purple yeah. one wow. so we can do a little comparison. But, What's up with me and pulling numbered cards? So the, yeah, your first one was uh, who was it? Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner Gold. Yeah. And oh, wow, this one is so this one's numbered to three fifty five. Oh, it's a, yeah. Wow, this thing is beautiful. Here's a different field level. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So there's so we have three field level of Mars. Um, yeah, the, the um, purple one is arguably the best one. At least for me, it looks really nice. Yeah, so this is a regular. So that's a regular field. Yeah, level. so this is not numbered. Because yeah, if it was just, any other just, color. So that's a silver yeah. field. Okay. Level. So then let's put them right there. And then this is the one we pulled in our previous video. And that's the exclusive to yeah. Target, the purple prism. Box. And this one's just gorgeous because, it again, it matches, matches the, the uniform. So not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, no, I. Well, and that's another wow. numbered card. So arguably, that's like. A case it? I don't know. I don't know if we got to say that, but I mean, the way we've opened so many megas, I think that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Yeah. Can you get me a top loader? I think. Yeah. Don't want this just hanging out. Yeah, I'll get you a top yeah. loader uh, if you want. Uh, I'll we'll put it to the side. The next pack. Yeah. We'll get it. Top loader. Here. All right, so while he's getting a top loader, we got Jeff Okuda. We got a Saint. Ooh, looks like we have a select certified rookie there. Yeah. So, 
David O. Uh, Jalen Hurts. It's an eagle, I believe. Oh, the last one is a saint. That's awkward. Jalen Rieger. Jalen Rieger. I'll put that there. And then lastly, we got Michael Thomas. Not bad, not mm -hmm. bad. I will put these right there for you to sleeve. But it's yeah. Nice, uh, field level Lamar. One more time. Any number of card you can get. Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty cool. Put uh, that right there. I mean, I, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the hit of the box. Oh, sheesh! We got another Justin Herbert. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, that's a good start to this pack. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get Brian Edwards. Can you Brian sleeve Edwards, that? I'll sleeve that. Justin. Justin up. All right. Oh, there's two die cuts. Ooh, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, not bad. Hopefully it's he has a, a good brown. Here. Is it? Is that brown? It might be. It might be another number card. Sheesh! Sheesh! <laughs> number to 355. Oh that's two in one box. Sorry, Lewis. Wow, that is that's pretty crazy. <laughs> but, oh. Wow, that is pretty legit, man. That's That's really cool. So again, we got this at Walmart today. <laughs> Walmart's popping. Sorry, Target, Walmart but it looks like Walmart. These boxes, yeah, man. that is crazy. You might want to sleeve so that up. Two in one box. Wow, that is that is really cool. In a in a pack with Herbert. In a pack with Herbert. That is probably the pack of the box. Holy smokes! So we saved the best for last. Not man, bad. that's crazy. That's that's really cool. Wow. Now imagine if this pack was actually a little bit. Um, thicker and it was a patch. Man, Man this that was the, that was the case. That would be a god box. Insane. It'd be the god box. All right. I mean, you start off there with a Patrick Mahomes. Can't yeah. can't complain about that. That was a nice start. So we got Patrick Mahomes, the Jets, the Denzel Mims, and then we got a turbocharged. Devin Hester. So there's that if you can sleeve that up. And then a LaVisca Chenault Jr. to finish it off. I mean, that's crazy. Out of one pack. A one Herbert, pack a Justin Herbert and, a, and another numbered Christian McCaffrey. Wow. Yeah, that is a, that's pretty Yeah, cool. so if they're brown, the most, I mean. We'll look up the color. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It, wow, this, I mean. It may well if, be like copper or something. Or yeah, if bronze. you. If you look at our previous videos, I mean, we've been kind of dry pulling these. Um, so I'm glad we got two numbers. That kind of makes up for the other yeah, ones. Yeah, it really makes up for all uh, the other So let's do a quick videos. recap for you guys. So we got this turbocharged Joe Burrow, Joe Higgins, select. Yeah, certified rookie. And then we got Darrell Taylor and Jacob Eason, both silver prisms. And then we got Brian Edwards. David Onyemata, Cam Akers, Terry Kill. I like oh, this yeah, one a lot. I like, that Terry I like this one a lot. Cole Kemet. This one too. Is this number? Yeah, that's a few. That's a few little. <laughs> Patrick Peterson, Josh <laughs> Allen, James Connor, and Zeke. Zeke. And then the last, uh, oh, the last die cut was. Uh, oh, the last one was Denzel Mims. Mims. And then I think the highlights were Justin Herbert. Or <laughs> Jalen <laughs> Rieger. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think the highlight are these two yeah, numbers. Sure, big time. Um, like I was saying, our luck has been kind of in the yeah, it's been in the toilet. So I'm kind of glad we kind of recovered. Yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. Hopefully, when PSA opens up, we're gonna look at these a little bit closer. But if they're gradable, we're gonna send them in because yeah. numbered cards are pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I mean. I mean that's a that's a great yeah. way to finish. Yeah, off this the, I mean the first episode of Restock Fridays. I mean that is, yeah, this that's, is a, that's a pretty big hit. Episode one. Episode so one. I'm sorry we started with the bang because what if episode two <laughs> we get completely <laughs> episode two is gonna be a letdown. Yeah, but no, I I'm glad you guys took this ride with us on episode one. Hopefully we can hit every Friday. Um, today was a big hit. Yeah. Uh, like we said at our local Walmart, um, at least for us. Yeah. It's either Walmart or bust because all the stores around us have That's unfortunately stopped. discontinued. Yeah. Um, we're hoping that they start reselling. And one of the positives that I think is it gives them a moment to catch up 
because the demand is extremely high. Yeah, and I feel true. like they were playing catch up the whole time. Yeah. So in a way, it's a positive. Again, if we're being greedy, it kind of sucks because we wanted mm-hmm. product. But yeah. it is what it is. Um, I'm pretty glad with this opening. Um, any last minute? I mean, I think that's a great way to finish yeah. off the video. We got two numbered, two numbered cards in that, that and that mega box and a Justin Herbert. Can't uh, complain at all, really. Yeah, no, hi. Especially when you're paying yeah. retail for these boxes. Yeah, you can see a dink um, right there. Or is it the sleeve? Yeah, maybe the sleeve. Yeah, it's the sleeve. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but... Well, that's going to do it for episode one of Restock Fridays. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on hopefully next Friday for episode two. Sounds good. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Um, if we're doing good stuff, make uh, let us know in the comments. And if you guys think we can improve on something, let us know. Yeah, uh, we're we're open to any feedback. But other than that, thank you, and we will see you guys for episode two.